Okay. And that's it. So I, I assume that I present the schedule, okay? <laughs> And then uh, uh, I'm, I'm trying to introduce you a little bit of the a little bit of the, the <laughs> idea and what you really do here in the Institute of Tropical Medicine. Okay. The institute was founded in 1959 by Professor Lacaz and as a part of the school, the uh, uh, São Paulo University School, São Paulo, São Paulo University Medical School. That's right on the right down right right here. Uh, this old building uh, right there, okay? And this founded uh, in, in 59. In, in 2000, the institute became an autonomous institute of the University of Sao Paulo, but of course, of course, it remained located here in the health quadrilateral of the Sao Paulo University. Uh, this quadri quadrilateral, it's, uh, uh, it's, it's formed by the Sao Paulo University Medical School, Sao Paulo University School of Public Health, that probably went there yesterday. Yeah, the day before, yes. Ah, the day before, the day before, uh -huh. <laughs> on Monday. Monday. <laughs> Segunda feira, okay. <laughs> and the Sao Paulo University Nursery School, that's across the street to the other street. So the, this formed the quadrilater health quadrilateral of uh, Sao Paulo University, okay. There is also the clinical hospital complex, the one that you could see or can see it when you cross the bridge in that big avenue today, you just came in here from walking, I think you remember, I don't know if you remember, but yeah. tomorrow if you cross again, you just look inside that you can see this big, big huge building that the cardiology institute, the, uh, there is a lot of uh, clinical institutes over there. I think this is the biggest uh, hospital in <coughs> Latin America, yes, I'm sure, yeah. Latin America. Only you, American uh, winners. <laughs> <laughs> After America, this is the biggest uh, complex hospital complex, and also the São Paulo State of the Department of Health. Uh? Okay, uh, the Institute uh, of Tropical Medicine has 21 professors from USP distributed like that. Five from uh, IMT. I mean, don't confuse with MIT. It's IMT, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Institute of Medicina Tropical and five from uh, EMT, 15 from medical school, Faculdade de Medicina da USP, and two from biological institute and dental school, one of dental school and one of biological school. So we have 21 prof professors, 16 researchers with PhD, and more than 100 graduate students. Undergraduate students, we don't have a, a, a specific uh, discipline of undergraduate. You have undergraduate together with school, medical school, and public health school, right? And uh, a lot of technicians and basic technical stuff. Uh, in along these years, from 54 years, the, the institute uh, has uh, this three buildings, or two buildings, this one, the, 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 the old one that was the, in the, the built, I don't know, in the time of the founder. I was just three, two yeah. years old at that time, I didn't remember very well. But th uh, then we have the, the sixth, sixth floor buildings over there, just uh, the next door here. You can see, I'm probably going to go there in the, to visit one of the laboratories there. Uh, after lunch, and we have a dream that to, cons to build a new one here, just there, when we're probably going to have a lunch there, they, all, they will destroy the, uh, uh, put down the, the, that old house and construct this new building. Oh, so this is a dream yet, okay? But I think in one or two years more, it's going to be a reality. And okay, let's see the next one. So the, the institute also it, uh, is responsible for editing a journal, the Journal of São Paulo Institute of Tropical Medicine. This is a 54 years continuous publication. It's free online and PDF access and full test since 1987. And the index is in the main index uh, uh, system, like easy, current contents, etc. And is a really love that and, and also uh, the mission. The mission of Institute of <coughs> Tropical Medicine 
uh, I think before to talk about mission, I'm going to try to put a little video from YouTube uh -huh, that's nice. to try to, to help, help you guys to understand what is really our mission. Is a video from the NIA, the NIA ID from the NIA, NIA or National Institute of Health, and talk about the pandemic uh, infection of uh, influenza. Okay, let's see if it helps. It uh, it works. Helps no. Helps you and works too. Let's see what happened here. Okay, I think now it's gonna go. Sorry about the sound, but we're gonna. I don't have a yet our our sound system installed correctly. Let's see if it works here. Pandemics, or global epidemics of influenza, have occurred for hundreds of years. There were three pandemics during the 20th century. They occurred in 1918, 1957, and 1968. The 1918 pandemic took the largest toll, causing an estimated 50 million deaths worldwide. The first pandemic of the 21st century began in 2009. But how does a pandemic occur? Influenza A viruses vary slightly from year to year, a phenomenon called antigenic drift. These small variations are the reason why the vaccine must be updated every flu season. Mm -hmm. And neglected and tropical disease uh, is a, a group of infected disease that uh, mainly of uh, most of them happen or occurs in, in, in countries in, like uh, in Asia, like India. This is a kind of elephant ears mm -hmm. disease that occurs in Pakistan or India or Asia. I'm not, not, I'm not sure exactly what is the country. This is a uh, problem with uh, the, uh, the uh, a row of uh, people in Africa waiting for treatment of leishmanias, and this is a two. Um, situations of uh, here in Brazil with people who live in the countryside of the Brazil and what you can see together is the economic uh, the economic uh, condition of life of these people is not that uh, there is some problems there the, the type of house a lot of people living with the dog except in the same place and this uh, we can say that we can say that the definition of uh, 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 the, <laughs> the word the word health organizations uh, that define the neglected disease like a set of diseases that affect the neglected population, the kind of population that I, I, I showed there live in areas that are overlooked and neglected by the market and the authorities. Mm -hmm. Because of that, we don't put influenza and HIV in this kind of uh, disease, okay? So they are infected, they are infection disease also, but not considered as, as neglected disease, okay? And uh, in 2002, the, the World Health Organization pointed 10 infectious disease uh, that can was considered neglected. And f from the seven, <coughs> we have here in Brazil um, seven. We don't have African trypanosoma trypanosomiasis. We don't have here elephant, 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 elephant no? <laughs> It's a lymphatic filariasis. filariasis, filariasis. And uh, we don't have also onchocerciasis, -cer but we have uh, dengue fever, leishmaniasis, malaria, schistosomiasis, tuberculosis, Chagas disease, and leprosy. We have in the country. And after this is in 2002, sorry. And about the seven, we have soil transmit helminths, schistosomiasis, trachoma. This is the two no new. <laughs> Uh, neglect disease, but leishmania, Chagas, Chagas disease, leprosy, and dengue fever remain here. Uh, as about the 17, we have seven. And we, we also, uh, WHO also includes two other neglected conditions, not neglected disease, like snake bite also. So you have, I think this is in America, you have problem with snake bites too. So we, we remain having seven neglected disease here in Brazil. And uh, 
kind of a distribution of this disease in the country. We, I think uh, probably you have to know, you take uh, uh, five minutes to look at the map of Brazil. And Brazil, of course, is a huge country. And uh, Sao Paulo is right here, this state here, almost in the south of Brazil. And dengue is, has case of dengue all, all over the country, and this is the, the uh, the case, the number of cases and the hospitalizations in red. So you can see from 1986 to now, the a huge increase of the cases and the, and the hospitalization uh, concerning dengue disease, uh, uh, showing that this is a real emergent <coughs> neglected disease that lo a lot of people even don't know what dengue is. <laughs> but uh, leprosy is uh, uh, there, uh, the, the distribution in the Brazil is like that. Leishmaniasis mm -hmm. is almost all the, all the country. Schistosomias is more related in Bahia and Minas Gerais states. Malaria, besides not a, a considered neglect disease today, is an important disease, but it's remaining in the Amazon part of the country. We don't have malaria, or at least human malaria here in Sao Paulo. And trachoma. Is that uh, the IV uh, infection is distributed around over the country. We also have Chagas disease and soil transmit ailments. The ailment is often dispersed in our country. And Chagas diseases, we can say that after a lot of research that even we here in, in the Turco Institute, we work about that, is uh, I think in more than 10 years, I don't know, we don't have a, um, transmissions, the, the, the Sylvester transmission of Chaga disease. So people said that Chaga disease is little, almost under control, I'll say, after a lot of work doing in that. We have problem with Chaga disease or transmission with Sylvester, you understand Sylvester? The, the, the typical transmission of Chaga disease in Bolivia, where, where more? Mm -hmm. Bolivia, I think there is, but of course in Brazil, people I think more than 10 years is under control. So, and so, this is the result of research. Yeah, there is some case of oral Chagas disease. So take care with you when you drink some uh, sugar cane, uh, sh sugar cane and acai uh, juice or something like that. Something like that. This is the problem that we have in the in the in the last two or three years. Okay, but the 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 the, the Sylvester transmission at least uh, is, is under control, okay? And the main topics of interest in, in neglected tropical disease uh, in our institute is basically uh, direct to diagnosis, epidemiological aspects, genetic of microorganism, pathogenesis and immunopathogenesis of the disease, Therapeutic and vaccine aspect is concerning the tropical and neglected disease. I'm gonna make a, let's see my time, I think is okay. So I'm gonna make some examples of what we do in the diagnosis aspects, because some, some others, genetic microbes, the, 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 the research that you can do, there some could be a little bit complicated. There is a lot of scientific aspects that sometimes don't, doesn't matter, doesn't interest for you, okay? Uh, and okay. So I'm gonna make a <coughs> comparison like example with leishmanias, leishmaniasis. I know, I if they say leishmaniasis. Okay, we said leishmaniasis, leishmaniasis, okay? And I never know. And Chagas disease. So, uh, leishmaniasis or uh, is is trans transmitted by a triple musty goat parasite, and non the name is Leishmania. Leishmania. Amazonensis Leishmania. Chagas Leishmania. Not Chagas Leishmania. Infantum Leishmania. Mm -hmm. um, Brasiliensis. There is a lot of species of Leishmania, and the parasite is transmitted by a sandfly, and briefly it can develop in humans a, li a tegmentary lesion or a systematic uh, disease um, with uh, uh, important, important uh, uh, problems in the liver and, 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 
and spleen, okay? And if you don't treat, it can go, can, can drive to death, okay? So it must be treated. And Chagas disease, in the other hand, is transmitted by another parasite, another trypanosomatid, called now Trypanosoma cruzi, that is transmitted by a bug, not a sand fly. And briefly, it can develop in human uh, uh, cardiac, cardiac disease that uh, drive to a heart failure. And if you don't have a transplantation of the heart, the guy could die, okay? This just to compare uh, ex a thorax x-ray with uh, normal people, this is the heart of a normal, normal guy, and this is a heart of a Chagas patient, a chronic Chagas patient. So this is, the, this is a cardiac insufficiency, insufficiency. yeah, yeah. okay? This is the, and then this is so serious. As you can see here, the parasite is almost the same. To be honest, I took the same picture, I just turned the picture, okay? It's the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> and I just put the names, the, 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 the right names, but the picture, I, I really don't know if this is a Leishmania or a Trypanosoma cruz. I, I, I have no idea, okay? To, to, to know that, to have to... Uh, uh, and, and of course, you can see that the transmission and the, the, the disease that they develop are completely different. So. Of course, there is some proteins or some DNAs or some mm, things in the parasites that you can see uh, directly that, that are completely different. And so, if you make a diagnosis, if you just put the parasite, you make a, a extract of the parasite and put <coughs> there to see, uh, to make the diagnosis, of course, there is some, a lot of proteins that are the same, but there is also a lot of proteins that can be different. And our goal here, our worry here, is exactly to find the DNA and the proteins, these specific proteins, to, to uh, develop a specific and, 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 and sensible diagnosis for the, the population, okay? And, and so this is the, the, the one of the, the, the important mission and important uh, projects that you plan to do here, that you try to do here in the institute. What I did here. Uh, okay, so th this is the, the transmission that I saw, the sh this uh, bug transmission that is under control here in Brazil, okay, from Chagas disease. This is the quick test and uh, uh, also the develop development of confirmatory, confirmatory assay of Chagas disease so to, com to co confirm if the, 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 the patient has uh, the, the disease. Because the, the, the Chagas disease is amazing because the transmission is under control, but as the disease is a, has a chronic um, stabilization, and it's a chronic situation, sometimes the people gonna, uh, sometimes uh, usually the, the, the guy is infected in when it was a kid, or, uh, and after 20 or 30 years, they're going to start to have this cardiac symptoms. So we don't have the transmission, but we, we still having the, the, the patients here mm -hmm. in Brazil. So, in so this is very important to have a confirmatory say to see if the guy still ha have having the, the, the Chagas disease uh, uh, working there. Okay. I don't know if I, 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 I'm trying to do my best, okay? <laughs> I, 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 was talk, I was talking with Laura that I think more than 20 years ago I, I, I give my last talk in English. So I think it's okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. So to, to be honest, I think it's okay. Anyway, and because um, and of that in another, uh, another other's works, IMT is one of the uh, who and PAHO, PAHO is Pan American Health Organization, is one of the who and PAHO reference laboratories for cellulological diagnosis of Chagas disease in Latin America. So in Chagas disease, we make a lot of work here. So in NEI, NEI 80, the, 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 the same as the institution that make this video for influenza, also consider the institute as a tropical medicine research center for Chagas disease.
<coughs> uh, I think you have time. I have also here an, another video that explains a little bit this kind of immuno immuno <coughs> test the alive. I don't know if you have if you know that. I think it's a good idea to put here because probably the people in the laboratories are going to show you what you're going to show uh, the ELISA and I think you will have an explanation here. Yeah. I have time. We have time. Have time. Okay. <laughs> and it's because the English of the video is better than <laughs> <my> English. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. So put your ears. Okay. Many simple rapid diagnostic tests detect specific <coughs> antigens in biological samples by using an enzyme immunoassay. The purpose of this animation is to explain how a prototype example of this assay works. The enzyme immunoassay can be done in a multi-well microtiter plate or on any other solid adherent surface. I will use the microtiter plate in this example. So let's take a closer look at one of the wells of this plate to see what happens during the performance of the assay. The plate is prepared to perform a particular assay by coating the wells with antibodies that bind to the antigen of interest. Then the wells are filled with the clinical sample, which could be a sample of serum, respiratory secretions, cerebrospinal fluid, urine, or some other body fluid. If the antigen is present in the sample, it will bind to the fixed antibodies. In this example, the green shape represents the antigen of interest, and the other shapes represent other molecules in the sample. However, note that only the specific, or green, antigen and none of the irrelevant molecules bind to the antibody-coated wells. This accounts for the specificity of the test. The wells are then washed out to remove any of the unattached molecules, leaving the antigen of interest stuck to the wells. Now, a second antibody, directed against another epitope on the target <coughs> antigen, is added. These antibodies are conjugated covalently to an enzyme indicated by the yellow circle at the FC portion of the second antibody. They bind to the antigen that's fixed in the well, and this provides a second level of specificity for the assay. The wells are washed again to remove any unbound antibodies, and in the final step, a solution of a colorigenic enzyme substrate is added. The interaction of the substrate and the captured enzyme generates visible color in the solution. At the macroscopic level, the development of color indicates those samples that have second antibody bound to the target antigen in the wells. Thus, the wells that change color are the ones that contain the antigen of interest. In other words, the positive. Okay. Okay. Uh, difficult. Oh, okay. Difficult to go there. So in this Elijah, you, uh, 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 the people here in the in the video they show that they put antibodies on, on, on the on the, the well, and uh, of course you can invert, you can put specific antigen <coughs> of the parasite and and look for the antibodies of the patients. So that's the main the main stuff that we do here. So we put specific <coughs> proteins in the in the bottom of the, the, the of the <coughs> the plate the the, the well. And then we, put, we, we take the, the blood from the, the patient to look for antibodies against the Leishmanese or Chagas disease or Tropsoplasma disease or things like that. So one of our goal here is to look for specific antigens to put in plates like that. Mm -hmm. So it's a, in, a, in a brief idea, okay? And this is another, another um, strategy that uh, people do because with in ELISA, you have to have a laboratories, have to wash, <coughs> you see that wash and put out the, 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 the efficiency. But I didn't press that button, the button is crazy. Okay. And yellow fever too, in clinical trials for vaccines producted, produced in Brazil at Instituto Butantan. Because as I told you, uh, we have to ha to concern about the the, the um, details of uh, the oh this is the the, the boss of the virology <laughs> virology <laughs> laboratory <laughs> Professor Panucci. <laughs> <laughs> I just talk about our laboratory <laughs> <laughs> and um, 
they made clinical trials uh, trying to analyze the, the, the vaccines produced here in Brazil because of that, because of the, 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 the details that I told you, because the, the influenza virus is not exactly the same the influenza virus that the vaccination uh, is, uh, are produced there in the North Hemisphere. So the, in the South Hemisphere, most of the time they are different. So we have to make some little difference, little changes to got a, 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 a vaccine ef ef efficiently <laughs> for our population, okay? <laughs> the main reason I am not, not became shamed. I think the, 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 the students are shamed. Don't they speak <laughs> <laughs> wrong English? I did. I didn't care about. I don't care about. Uh, okay, and this is more uh, results for intera interaction with the public health with the institute. This is old old results, but in the seventy eight and between seventy eight and eighty three, the professor Camargo. Uh, retired now, he made the first national prevalence student Chaga disease in Brazil. And I think this, the, the work of Professor Camargo he, he is one of the founders of the institute. All the groups that work with him, I think the now in 2010 we can see the results that started from the, the, the uh, research projects and the results that Professor Camargo and his research group did in Brazil. So because of that also, I think Chagas, we can say that now Chagas mm -hmm. is, is under control because he made a very huge and very nice works. And also continue that Professor Ferreira also is retired now. <laughs> Last year he retired as a former uh, director. He made a national prevalence study in recent transmission of the Panozoma Cruz in children. So uh, remember that I saw the problem of infection of the main problem of uh, Chagas disease infection is in children, children, okay? And also have a prevalence to the toxocariasis in Brazil under control of Professor Kiev. And I think to finish, the our the, now the, the teaching initiatives of tropical diseases uh, we also have a, a very, <coughs> even from the time of the foundation of the institute, from 59 to 99, 40 years, we, people, not my time, of course, I was not here on that time, they made a specialized specializ training in tropical medicine. More than 500 physicians from Brazil and Latin America uh, came here to make this course. Even our, the, 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 the actual <coughs> minister of health, came here to make the, am I right to call you? <laughs> <laughs> I think the Minister of Health came here and, 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 and frequent this course in, I don't know exactly what, when, but anyway. But th this is a old course, but it's historical. Today, we have a graduate program of tropical medicine and international health uh, with the, the, our, the coordinator of the program is right here, Professor Thelma Okai. And beginning 2007 with master and PhD training, and of course it's open to international students. One of our goals right, in this year, and we are we also have now uh, undergraduate programs uh, in in together with the School of Public Health that started this year, mm -hmm. and also with uh, uh, we help a lot in the in the medical school also and also. Uh, uh, last year, no, 2000. But we also have the, the, the uh, interesting course that uh, uh, made for uh, Luciana. No, the one with the tour. Oh, okay. No, it's amazing. This, this is an amazing idea. The school of uh, uh, tourism in Busby, because of the a lot of travel, people uh, remember the, the, the video that uh, the concerns about about. Uh, International health and the facility of the travel today, they were they are they are worried about the what exactly the people that work uh, in the tourism have to care about when they go to different countries, and then they, they construct an under undergraduate yeah. undergraduate uh, program in together with the tour tourism um, faculty in Lusby and 
I think this is more than two years we have this course. Four. Uh, since we printed, uh, it's five two, years. Five years, five years we have, we, we did this, the, this course. So it's amazing. So it's a kind of different idea. And I think it's, it's over. Let's see. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> <Thank you. laughs>